Good morning, boys and girls. Today on Kids Stir, because it's almost St. Patrick's Day, we are going to make this little leprechaun out of Nutter Butter Cookies. So you will get your little green candy melts, and I've already melted the ones in here because um, of time to make it a little bit quicker. So I'm just gonna cover like a little bit at the top for the hat. And if you want to just dip it in there, you can dip the, the first part. It just depends on what you want to do. And you'll need to let that sit just for a little bit. It will it'll harden back up as it sits. And then I'm going to put a couple of eyes and you will get your eyes. You can just use a little dot of icing. Let me go look for those in Put your eyes on so they stick. Use the knife for that. And then your icing, you'll also have a little bag with um, your stuff for the other craft we're doing. So if you want to take that bag, you can put the icing in the bag and cut the little end out and make it like a little tip if you want. And then we'll just put some icing on to make his little beard. And you can put as much on there as you want. That got up there just a little bit too much, but there you go. You have your little leprechaun. So the next thing we're going to do is a rainbow because St. Patrick's Day is all about rainbows and the pot of gold at the end of the rainbow. So you will get your donut. And this one has coconut. We're going to use some little marshmallows. If you want to add those on there to be like your cloud, you can do that. And you will get your um, fruity pebbles for your rainbow color. And if you want to be real, take your... A lot of time you can do them in order. Miss Kathy's not going to. We're just going to dump some out here on our plate. And you'll get your little glaze and your little tube and your little pan. So you can dip the glaze on it. Or you can just dip it if you want to put it in a bigger bowl. I'm going to put this on with a spoon. And then you can just roll it around in your uh, fruity pebbles. And you can take a few more to sprinkle on top. And then, like I said, if you want to add your little marshmallows on there as, to be like a cloud, you can do that too. This too, after it sits for a little while, it will harden up a little bit too, and then you can move it around a little bit more. So there you have your rainbow with your clouds. And if you all would send pictures to Miss Libby or to me to our emails, we would love to put them on our Facebook page. And I hope you guys have a wonderful day.